Would you like to forward your user submissions to your teammates? Let me show you how. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm already in the desktop version of one of my forms, and there's a lot of different ways that we can forward submissions to our teammates. Now, definitely check out all the articles down below because it's gonna to touch on a few more nuances of that, but we're gonna cover a few here. And the first way that you can do this is have those submissions automatically go to your teammates when someone completes a form. And the way to do that is with a notification email. So I'm gonna go up to the top middle tab settings. Then on the left-hand side, we're gonna do emails. And then we have two, we have notification, we have autoresponder. The notification email is going to go to the person who created the form. And then the autoresponder is going to go to the person who completed the form. So for this case, we want to forward all of our submissions to our team. So we're going to edit the notification email and click on it, that pencil. And then up here, right at the top, we have the recipients and we just enter in the people that we would like to receive those submissions. Super simple. Now, maybe we've already received these submissions and we want to forward them. There's a couple other ways. One is in our inbox. So on the top left-hand corner, we're currently in the form builder. We're gonna change over to our inbox and I'm already in Catherine Cooper's submission. So I can choose any of these and over on the right-hand side, we have these three dots. If I click here, we can choose to forward and I can forward this to anyone on my team via email. Now. The last way that we're gonna talk about is through our submission table. So again, top left-hand corner, we're gonna change from our inbox over to our table. And let's go ahead and choose this first one right here. We have one entry selected. As long as we have one entry, we can forward one at a time. So over on the right-hand side, we have those three dots again forward and again enter in that email and we will be good to go now another way that might not be mentioned is with an action button so i'm going to choose to add a column right here and we're going to choose buttons then send email next we'll do send email as the column name next and we can choose here if we want it to go to the notification or to the autoresponder or if we don't want either one of those we want to do something else we can create an email it's going to be a notification if we're going to send it to our team here we can choose what that looks like save all right this is the one that we want to send we're going to create the column so here instead of choosing dots for the email we can just come here send 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 super simple, but it is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to forward a submission data to your team, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you can notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.